NFL general managers and coaches alike love J.J. McCarthy. And after watching every single throw he has made this season, I can confidently tell you what the one big reason is why they love him so much. Now stop. Before you say it, don't. J.J. McCarthy is not Zach Wilson. I know they both had their pro day throws. I know they both look like they should be getting ready for their next season of The Bachelor. But trust me, this is where the comparisons end. Now then, back to that one big reason I mentioned earlier. J.J. McCarthy throws the ball over the middle of the field exceptionally well. He throws the ball with great timing, anticipation. He's patient Dude. and calm. And what? Quit yapping think and show them the film. You're right, fine. As I was saying, J.J. McCarthy throws the ball over the middle of the field exceptionally well. Here he is running play action against UNLV. Linebackers suck up into the run lanes, and we just got a dig and a clear out here. J.J. McCarthy's already releasing the ball. Linebacker's back is turning. He, can, he knows he can fit this in the window behind his ear. That's exactly what he does. And he puts this ball behind the receiver in between the linebackers and away from this crashing safety to help protect the receiver from a rib shot. Here we go, play action again. This time he takes a deep shot and he threads the needle over the middle of the field. Middle clears out and his receiver beats the safety. He does a really good job. He's got a clean pocket here. He's patient and then he just delivers a strike. Here we go against Rutgers. He's got a receiver coming in motion against man coverage. He's gonna run a crossing route. He's got pressure coming right up the middle. So he's got to step up to buy himself a fraction of a second longer. And then he delivers an accurate ball in stride. Here we go against Rutgers again, this time just a straight drop back. He feels the pressure from his left tackle, steps up just a little bit by himself for just a moment longer, and then throws a strike up the seam in between the linebacker and the safety to his tall target. Great ball placement there and poise under pressure. And this was an awesome play against Nebraska. They run a flea flicker. You've got your tight end who's going to run straight up the seam. He is the clear out route for their dagger concept. So now McCarthy, patient, well protected, fires over the middle of the field. Accurate ball right into that open. You're going to see here he gets the ball back. Tight end clears out the middle of the field. And now he's got time to deliver to the inbreaker in a tight window. This is probably his best throw of the season in terms of like just timing wise, putting everything together. So you're going to see left tackle gets beat here and the center gets beat with the bull rush. He's got pressure in his face. They bring the motion into the crossing route against man coverage, and he delivers under pressure a strike over the heads of the DBs as their backs are turned. Now, yes, does the Ohio State corner do a good job ripping the ball out? Yeah, but it's after he passes the goal line. That is a touchdown and a phenomenal throw by JJ McCarthy. And finally, my last example here, they're gonna bring motion, run play action. And he gets pressure immediately. His right tackle gets beat inside right away. He stands tall, feels the pressure, and fires this thing while getting hit into the void over a linebacker into the hands of his tight end who makes a nice catch and it becomes a big play catch and run. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably saying right now. That's great, Randy, but how does all of that make J.J. McCarthy different from Zach Wilson? I'll tell you how. Zach Wilson did not throw the ball in the middle of the field in college or in the NFL, and he certainly didn't do it effectively or consistently. JJ McCarthy does both of those things exceptionally well. And for anyone wondering, can he throw the ball under pressure? Well, besides the clips I just showed you, here's a few more. For this first play is a trick play. Running back does not do a very good job pitching the ball back to McCarthy. He's got to readjust, grab the ball, and then throw off bounce with the dude in his face, and he delivers a beautiful throw. Here we go. Now Michigan against Penn State, they're gonna run a stick slot fade concept. So standard stick would be the stick from the tight end, a shoot from the middle, and then a go ball from the outside. They're gonna run the go ball from the slot receiver and then have the outside receiver run a hitch. So they're still attacking the flat and vertical space. The right tackle gets beat badly. McCarthy gets to rip this thing to the tight end right away. Great job. Poise. This time they bring a slot blitz. No one's open right away. A lot of vertical patterns. So he gets out and finds his running back in the open field. Now, again, pressure. Everything falls apart. Left tackle, left guard, right tackle gets pressure. And while getting hit, he zips it into the end zone. And then here we go. Heavy blitz. Same thing. Stick with the slot fade concept. Gets it to the tight end with the blitz in his face. Still don't believe me? Gosh, you guys are needy. 
fine. Here's some clips of him throwing the ball on the outside very well also. I love this play from JJ McCarthy. They run a basic smash concept here. They bring in the motion. Top guy runs the corner route. Bottom guy runs the out route. Now it's a high-low read on that corner on the outside. JJ McCarthy is patient in the pocket, steps up, even does a little head and shoulder fake to get that corner to come down on the out route just a little bit, just enough to open a small space to fit that throw in. Fantastic throw. Here we go, another smash concept. They bring the tight end in motion and then run over under. This one's really tight, but he sneaks it into a tight window. Corner gave him just a little bit too much space to work with. Great throw. And then here we go. What can't he do? Well, back shoulder, he can certainly do that. Patient, throws back shoulder, and throws an absolute dart to the goal line. That's exactly where you want that ball to go in a back shoulder situation. Now, as you may have noticed, this was the same concept I showed earlier. It's the stick with the slot fade. All he has to do is just pause for a moment. This time he has the protection to be able to take that shot. As soon as he sees that slot corner run with the slot fade and that outside corner sit on the hitch, he knows he's got one-on-one -on -one with the one high safety and he zips it to the back shoulder. Excellent job understanding matchups and taking the best one available. JJ McCarthy is no perfect prospect. He threw some terrible interceptions against Bowling Green, and he threw some frankly befuddling pass attempts against Iowa and Alabama that should have been intercepted. Frankly, I'm not very concerned with that. What I'm concerned with is the upside and what I can see him being capable of doing in the NFL. Four interceptions is pretty damn good in one season, even if they are his fault. To me, I see a quarterback that processes well, gets the ball out quickly when needed to, can extend plays pretty well. His arm is a little limited. I'm a little concerned about him being on the road in the playoffs in a cold weather environment, but I think he's a very solid quarterback with a high floor that a team ready for a quarterback should absolutely go after to play because if they get themselves in the right position, I think you can absolutely compete at a high level with this guy playing quarterback. Hopefully, if you came into this video thinking J.J. McCarthy is a complete bum, I've changed your mind. I put hours into watching every single throw he's made all season long to formulate this opinion, and I am confident that if he goes to a situation like Minnesota with star receivers, a good offensive line, or an okay offensive line, but great weapons and a great offensive coach, he will work out very well. If he goes to a bad team with mediocre offensive line, no star receiving skills, and an unproven offensive coordinator, it's probably not going to work out very well for him. He's not a generational talent, but he's a very solid player. He's quick at processing, like I already said. And he's very good at running an offense. So if he goes to a good situation, I think he'll do great. Comment down below where you think he'll go and how you think he'll do in the NFL. And if you enjoy these style of breakdowns, make sure to click on this breakdown right here, right here. You still here? Might as well subscribe if you're still here. Go click on the subscribe button and then click on this video right here.